now at 11 o'clock with election night in central Indiana. The results are in for important races in Indianapolis, Carmel, and other cities tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Debbie Knox. And I'm Bob Donaldson. CBS4 is your local election headquarters. Our crew are fanned out all across central Indiana tonight, bringing us updates from the campaigns. We'll check in with all of them in just a moment, but we begin right here in Indianapolis, where Democratic Mayor Joe Hogsett defeated his Republican challenger, Jefferson Shreve, by a wide margin. Yeah, Hogsett won nearly 60% of the vote, securing his third term as mayor in a race that was the most expensive in city history. CBS 4's Max Lewis joins us now live from Hogsett's campaign victory celebration. Max, a lot of happy people there tonight. Yeah, there sure were, Bob and Debbie. It was a great night here for Indianapolis Democrats as Mayor Joe Hawks had cruised to another four years over his opponent, Jefferson Shreve, even though Shreve outspent him by quite a bit. Hawks said, though, did commend his Republican uh, challenger, saying that he, they fought a hard campaign and that he hopes they can both work together in order to still make this city better. However, the crowd here at the Hawks said camp may have felt a little bit differently. They uh, broke out in boos and applause as as they watch Jefferson Shreve's concession speech up here on the big monitors. The mayor himself made his appearance at the party just within the past hour, touting his accomplishments on issues such as economic development, investments in housing, and even crime, despite record homicides in recent years. He did acknowledge that there is a lot more work to be done, and he said it will take a village to do it. Take a listen. We will need you over the next four years because change can't come from the mayor's office alone. It takes advocates, it takes neighborhood leaders, it takes community stakeholders to shape city government into a government that serves all of Indianapolis, all people, all zip codes, all four corners. Hogshead also said that this evening is going to be his last one at a victory party like this one up on a campaign stage making a victory speech like this. He has told us previously that his uh, third term is going to be his last as Indianapolis mayor. He told us earlier today that once those four years are up, he is going to cruise off into what he called the political sunset. However, that is still quite a long time from now. And as he said tonight, still a lot more work to be done. Bob and Debbie, we'll send it back to you. All right, Max, thank you very much. And as we mentioned, Republican Jefferson Shreve called Joe Hogsett to concede the race and congratulate him on a third term. Shreve later spoke to his supporters. CBS 4 Steve Brown was at that speech and explains his message to his supporters. It's hard to be more invested than Jefferson Shreve was as a candidate while facing two-term incumbent Joe Hogsett in the Indianapolis mayoral race. The vast majority of Shreve's money, a reported $13.5 million, came from Shreve himself. Much of that money spent on advertising in both the primary and general election campaigns. Shreve also invested his time, pausing much of his work in his successful storage businesses for nine months so that he could campaign. During his concession speech, he had a bit of fun at his own expense over his costs of running for Indy mayor. Now, I spent an expensive education, but I have grown, <laughs> but I have grown tremendously and grown to appreciate my hometown in ways that I couldn't have imagined as I set down this course. We have such diversity and such terrific people in and across this city of 403 square miles. During his speech, Shreve added that during his phone call to concede the race and congratulate Hogsett, the mayor asked Shreve going forward to be vigorously involved in issues facing the city. After his speech, I asked Shreve whether or not he'd be interested in running for public office again. Shreve didn't directly answer the question, but concluded by saying, I'll be around. Steve Brown, CBS 4 News.